can a 13-year-old actually be charged with a crime for eavesdropping? So an Illinois middle schooler recorded a conversation on his smartphone while he was arguing with the school's principal about punishment he received. Now, apparently, the kid is facing felony charges, which what? include possibly one to three years in prison and a $25,000 fine. No. I'm not sure what's going on here. So we're blessed. Join us via Skype to weigh in. Attorney and psychologist, Dr. Lisa Stroman. Hello, Hi. Lisa. How are you? Hello. Hi. So, Lisa, I think we're all a little bit confused when it comes to this situation, and it involves eavesdropping, recording a conversation without the knowledge of, of all participants. So, legally, what's going on here? Well, Illinois is actually only one of 12 states that still has a two-party consent law. And what that means is that both people in that conversation have to agree to the recording and you can't secretly record them. Um, but I think that in this situation, the 13 year old informed them. And so if you look up the definition under Webster of surreptitious recording, which is what the law says, the minute that the child tells them that he's recording them, it's no longer a secretive recording. Uh, and so and in so fact, I he did tell them he's recording, like you are being recorded, Mr. Principal. But apparently yeah. it wasn't until, what, 10 minutes or so into the conversation? So does that relieve the 13-year-old of responsibility? And I'm asking purely because it, it seems a bit ridiculous to me that a 13-year-old yeah. could be facing felony charges for recording a conversation with the principal. But is, is the teenager, once they acknowledge, hey, I've been recording this, are they relieved of that responsibility? So if you look at the statute specifically, it doesn't say when in the statute that you have to actually tell somebody that you're recording them or not. It just says that if you're in a party in the conversation, you have to, there's no secret recordings. Like if you recorded it and walked away and you never told them, I think that there would be a much stronger case. But you have to hope in a situation like this, a 13 year old who faces a felony could eventually not be able to apply to college lose jobs, federal assistance for student loans, or even if they needed welfare in the future, they, they're not able to do any of those. So it's really bad news for such a silly incident. And I think that the, the law has to get changed in Illinois. So can we talk about scenarios? Because we all have smartphones and half the time someone within a hundred yards of you is doing a Snapchat or Instagram story or recording or on the phone. It seems like all of our lives are now being recorded. And to my knowledge, no one has to tell me, oh, hey, by the way, we're doing a, I'm doing an Instagram story right now. So do the laws have to change universally? Because I will admit that there have been times in my life where I've thought, wow, I would give anything to have this conversation record. on record. And I've even, I'll admit it, I've even thought about it before where it's like, God, I would love to just hit record right now so the world could hear what a jackass this person is. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, know, you know where I'm coming from, right, people? It's, but it sounds to me like, depending upon the state I'm in, that could be illegal. Right, there's 12 states. 38 states have what we call a one-party consent law. And that, that has to do with if you are part of the conversation, meaning you actually are engaging in that other person, you have a right actually to record that in 38 states. And to me, that has to do with your right to have ownership of your own conversation. Somebody can't stand away from you and record you having a conversation with a, a third person um, and then have that an expectation that they have protection. But Got in 38 you. states, you can. So Lisa, we're gonna put you on the spot. Who has the stronger case? And who would you rather represent in this case? 100% the kid. Yeah. You know, yeah. this kid has a disability, he has... I mean, this, there's a lot of reasons that, that the kid needs a, a strong attorney in this case. It is Love it. Interesting yeah. case. We did reach out to the school, and they had no comment at the time of this taping.